Turns out when you move to South America, you're not always down there, so it's kind of hard to find yourself. Ew. <laughs> hey guys, Eric here, Cheap Ass Reviews. Sorry I've been gone a while, I've been working on this video about when I lived in South America. It's not a video of review, so that might be weird for some of you, but I don't care. So yeah, let's do that. Hello? Hey dad, how's it going? Ricky, how you doing? You got the week off? I do. I took the week off because I'm lazy, but also because I really wanted to finish my South America movie. Cue montage. Wait. You know, my problem is I don't have anything really. I don't have a story or anything. Spielberg had the same problem right before Jaws. So don't worry about it. Okay, good. Good to know. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> Hi. So did you come up with a plan? Uh, so let me just give you the backstory. So here, here we are with my wife. Do not do that. So I'm like thinking I did IT, you know, and that's like the most boring. And then my boss had a lemon up his butt. <laughs> You're gonna go on the record saying that your boss had a lemon up his butt. Okay. Um, so I just kind of want to get away from that. Actually, when I put in my when I put in my resignation, I I hit the dumbest thing I've ever done. I still do you do? And now a dramatic reading of a resignation letter sponsored by hipsters. Is this, is this on? <laughs> okay. Dear Toyota Prius, recently I've been offered an opportunity to work and live in Chile. The work will be very much similar to the work I have done here for Everybody Hates Work, EHW. And although I love working for EHW, and I have greatly enjoyed the experiences gained and the friendships formed. I believe this opportunity is just too good to pass up. It's my opinion that every lifetime deserves one great adventure. And I see this job in South America as a great starting point for this. Kind regards. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I hated my job. I wasn't enamored with where I was living at the time. My grandfather passed away. I mean, he was like a real go-getter, right? What are we doing? Oh, we do that. Well, we always do that. Uh, how's that go here again? escape this trifecta of pain <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah so maybe it was about escape or whatever so certainly guess. distraction <laughs> yeah so yeah. Um, well that's kind of dark too lax to lima peru and then i took a like 20 hour recliner bus ride with wifi on it to the border took a taxi across the border and then took another six hour bus uh, to Iquique. Chris's girlfriend picked up and was like, you know, hello. And I'm like, like in Spanish, right? Hey, I'm here, like, can you guys come get me? But they couldn't hear me, so they hung up. And then I called again, same thing happened, and they didn't come to get me. <laughs> Like, who else is gonna call twice in a row? Yeah. Like, aren't you expecting me to get into town? I'm still pissed about this to yeah. this day. <laughs> Look at me, I'm angry. So Chris had to go out of town to teach. Like he would go out of town for three days to like teach somewhere else. And because of that, they came to the bus station. I knew that that was gonna happen, but I had to wait like a couple hours 
until they got there. So we just very briefly like said hello and she showed me um she showed me the room. Huh? Huh? Bed? Armoire? Desk? Huh? Chris? Huh? Again? Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um what was the job like that you went down there for? How long did you actually work there? Um, I basically worked there like six weeks. That's it? Yeah. Hey guys, Lazy Animated Eric here. I just wanted to cut in and talk about how if there ever was a time I was going to be creative online, this would have been the time. No job, no future, time. Tons of time. And me and Chris, we tried to make a documentary, but mostly, well, I just squandered it. So... Chris asked me one time, how do you feel about feelings? I feel about feelings the same way I feel about a good hot dog. You swallow them. You still can't pronounce Eric in Spanish? No. So you just went with Enrique? Yeah. And now you're in Enrique from Akika? Yeah. Do you like that, Ron? I'm acting weird because I'm on camera. <laughs>
Nothing terrible has ever happened. Well, you know what? It just did. We're gonna meet some colorful characters here. Um, and then a man came by on a bicycle in the middle of the night, and um, Chris woke up long enough to find out that the guy was telling me about what a great deal he got on the bicycle. <laughs> and uh, how cheap it was and what a great bicycle it was. And I was just saying basically like, no thank you, <laughs> no thank you, no thank you. Um, but we made it and we, we lived. You didn't get shanked. Didn't get shanked. It's cool. Yeah. You didn't then, get like mugged. Didn't get mugged. You know, they're, they're gonna steal your shoes if you leave them at the end of your feet I like that. I them if they move them, I will awake. I'm gonna get a close up of your Nikes. For the camera, the viewers. You think it's the last time we'll ever see him? The viewers at home are gonna want to see the three Luca repaired Nikes you have there. Dun dun dun, dun dun dun, dun dun dun, dun dun dun. A photo? It's recording. We were having so much fun down there. Why'd you leave? Well, I started school, got a job, got married. Why would you do all that? My mom. Cause I don't know if you remember the conversation where when you were down in South America and you said, yeah, I'm thinking about coming back. I said, have you decided what you're going to do when you get here? Don't come home until you've decided what you're going to do because then you're just right back where you started. I had this thought and I have this recurring thought that like, Maybe I had to go to South America to become who I am in some way because I realized... No, did it stop? I didn't stop because the camera is busy. Record again? No, it's, it's full. Oh, I had a good thought, you know? That was going to be a good thought. Um, at what point did you decide to shave your head? <laughs> God, I wasn't gonna talk about <laughs> There's actually a video I made where I'm like trying to be artistic, so I made a movie called Thirst. But I have another one where I'm baking, you know, I got a bald head, I'm holding buns.